Hello guys, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. I hope everybody is doing good. Uh, this is continuation to my fabric playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can connect the fabric one leg using Azure Synapse Analytics. Mainly, we are going to focus about how to read and write the data. Okay, so read and write the data from Azure Synapse Analytics to one leg which is available inside the Microsoft Fabric. So let me explain you this with a practical demo. Uh, let's go to our browser. So this is our Synapse workspace and in this workspace. So in this workspace, I have already opened a notebook called notebook one and uh, in this notebook, I am going to write a PySpark code that will help us to read the data which is available inside this Synapse workspace Gen 2 storage. And then finally, that data I want to write into the uh, lake house which is there inside my Microsoft Fabric tenant. So if I go to this tab, you can clearly see that right now I opened a workspace called Mahir Demo Workspace and I, you can see that there is a lake house called Sample Lake House. Okay, so in that lake house under folders, uh, there will be something called tables folder. So that's where I want to write the data. I want to write one table into the lake house which is there inside one leg of the fabric. So how to do that? So firstly, let's go to this lake house. I just clicked that lake house and you can see that it is opening my lake house here. And once the lake house opened, you can see there is a folder called tables folder. Okay. So right now this table folder is empty. So that means there is no table available. So let's right click this and let's click this properties and let's copy this ABFS path Azure blob file system path. So that that is the path I have to copy. So I am just copying that path. Okay. So why I am copying that path is what I am going to do. I am going to my notebook which is there in my synapse workspace and I am clicking this cell and here let's create a variable to hold fabric lake house path. Okay. So that's the comment I am using and I am creating a variable called maybe one leg path. Okay. And inside this variable, I am going to store that location, right? Whatever uh, the path I have entered, I am going to store that. So let me hit the F11. Uh, so now I zoomed this uh, storage, the gen the notebook. That's where I think you can see the clearly. So we have actually created a variable called one leg path in which I have stored that one leg lake house folder called table. We taken that path and we are, we are storing that as a string there. Okay. So once that is done, now what I wanted to do is so let me create a new cell and now this time I want to read the data which is available in my synapse workspace. So this is synapse workspace, right? If I go here, if I go under the data menu, under the data menu, there is menu called linked. And here, if you see, I have a storage account which is connected with my Synapse workspace and a demo container is there which is connected with my Synapse workspace. So let me minimize this. And when I go to this demo container, right after minimizing this, you see under demo container, there is a folder called data under which there is a folder called employee. Inside that we have a file called employees.csv file. So for this file, I want to create a data frame in the Synapse notebook first and that data frame I will write into the one leg of the fabric. So what I will be doing it right click here and go to the properties and let's try to co copy this same ABFSS path of that particular uh, file CSV file which is available in my storage. I'm going back to my notebook and here. So how to read any file uh, in the PySpark code? So we know that spark dot read dot. It's a CSV file. I can use CSV. Then here I can give the path. Okay. So if you can see this code, whatever I am writing, right? So let me zoom little bit. So I am just giving the path inside spark dot read dot CSV function. Okay. So now what I want to do is I wanted to um, give the header equals to two because CSV files has a header value. Okay. Uh, that is that should act as a columns. 
so i mentioned header equals to true okay so now if you can see spark dot read dot csv then the entire path then header equals to true okay so that's what we are doing it there so now what is happening uh, so this entire code will create a data frame so let me store that in a data frame called df okay then data frame dot show function i am using and i am hitting shift enter to execute this cell why i am doing that to make sure my data frame actually has the data or not and you can see that it has the data it has columns like id name and gender and one row in it so now this data frame which is created like df this i wanted to write into the fabric one lake inside the lake house tables okay so that it should come as a table there so what i can do here data frame dot i can use write on top of that i can mention the format so i can say so i want to write it as a delta table so i am using a delta format then i can mention the mode like override so that means i hope uh, you guys see in my pyspark playlist you know that this override mode help you to override the data if already is there then finally i can use the save function in the save function i can give the path where to save and if you remember we have created this one leg path variable that holds the path for my one leg right so i am just taking that variable and i am using it here okay then inside that tables folder i wanted to create a table called emps employees so that's what so if i execute this cell it is going to write this data frame in delta table format into that lake house path and emps will actually look like a folder look like a table there okay so you can query that table as well you can read that table as well so let me hit shift enter to execute this cell and once this cell execution completes we should see a table inside our fabric one leg so let's wait for the job execution here you can see job execution is successful now if i go to the fabric and you see right the tables folder is empty here right and when i hit the refresh now i should see a employees see employees table came there and if i expand the columns also you should see columns also see id column name and gender columns inside the employee table so everything came so how this table came because from our synapse workspace we are able to write the data into the fabric lake house indirectly we are able to write the data into the fabric one lake actually okay so now you want to make sure like you want to execute some select query on top of this table and make sure data is there so what you can do right click here and maybe go to the open in a notebook and select the new notebook so we are opening a notebook in a new notebook inside the fabric so let's wait for the screen to load here okay you can see that screen got loaded now if i execute this cell it is going to actually perform the select query on top of the employees table and display the data for us so let's wait and see that cool you can see that data came here that means we are good actually so uh, i hope you got an idea so now what technically we did using azure synapse analytics we are able to connect to the one leg and write the data there right so this is what i wanted to discuss in this video thank you for watching this video if you like this video considering subscribing to the channel and get the more content and more idea technically thank you for watching have a nice day